field for the coin toss. We'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And now he pitches it. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. They'll run it. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Taken down at the 48. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. From the 48-yard line, first down. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. it to the 34. From the 34-yard line. First down. Lumpkin, the ball carrier. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. the stop at the 23-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Caught out of the open. He gets hit out of bounds at about the nine-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six on the play. That brings him second. This is the tenth play of this drive. And he's in there. Touchdown. Good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 72-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score, 7-0. Taken from the three-yard line. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. The Tigers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week 
is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. at midfield. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Bounds at the 29. They bring him down in the backfield. From the 30-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. This is the eighth play of the drive. And he's tackled at the four-yard line. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the four-yard line. Tackled right around the two-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Bears lead it 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. It's on the ground. They fall on Tackle at the six. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's under pressure. On the throw, incomplete pass. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play. But it doesn't always happen. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick pass, and down he goes at the 36. 
first down. it to the 44. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 44. Tackled for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And he shoved out of bounds at the 46. Now they need to get it down to the 34. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Wolf gains six yards with a short completion. Nolan looking to knock one inside the 20 here on this punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He fights forward to about the 20. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. Seven-yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. That makes it third and three. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Keep 15, keep 15. Go. Makes the catch and look out. He's pushed out of bounds around the 46-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. And he tackles him hard at the 44. Three-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 30. Three-yard gain by the running back. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. A little toss across the middle. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he is drilled at the 12-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. He 
fights forward to about the 10. A two-yard run by the halfback. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. Tenth play of the drive. And they got him for a loss. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the three. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they get nice yardage on that run. Well, we've played a half of football. The Bears lead it by four. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So. You know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to great, not to give away any turnovers. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Caught at the eight. They'll bring him down at the 34. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. it up the middle for a nice run. That's good. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. On play action, he'll scramble. And he's level at the 47. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. He fights forward to about the 46. Receiver and he can't make the grab. 
Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Strike to his receiver, no good. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Give to the tailback. Makes it to the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the 26-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. From their own 32 yard line, first down. And he stopped behind the line. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. Nice run up the middle. Third down again. Makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Nolan to punt. He's taken down the 39-yard line. Not a bad return. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 42-yard line. Quickly to the tight end. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 50. It's second and 10. Ball on the 50. scrambling and he's taken down at the 35 yard line to the left and it's going the other way. Really nice. 
nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. From their own 27-yard line, it's first down. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 34. He's on the run. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. The Bears lead it 7-3. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Tackled at about the 47 yard line. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. From their own 47 yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Tackles him for a loss. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires it out. Knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 39. The cavalry's coming. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. This is the tenth play of this drive. Fires it quickly. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Slings it. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle around the 49-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. He scrambled. Brought down in the open field. Yeah. 
just under three to go in regulation. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Number seven, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 35. Good tackle there in space. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the 21-yard line, first down. it out to maybe the 20 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Two times, two times. Two down, two down. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. This is big time resiliency by this offense. They're really doing everything that they need to do to put themselves in a position to have a chance to get points on the board. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. Brought down at about the three yard line. That brings him second and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Let's go, D. Under a minute left in the game. He's in, touchdown, and they take the lead. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 63-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Number and seven. it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. McCarthy from the seven. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. All well, these defensive coaches have got to be loving what they've seen from their guys today. Uh, you and I talked to both of these coordinators getting ready for this game, and they put together a game plan. They shared it with us, and we're seeing it out there on the field today. They still are going to determine the outcome of this game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down at the 46. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. Scrambling around. They bring the quarterback down. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. 
Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 35. Spikes the ball. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Gannis off the right side. Gets out to around the 22. The Bears using their third and final timeout. We're at play number nine of this current drive. The kick is away. We're going to OT. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Here comes the pressure. Fires out to his wide out. Tackle made at the 21. That's a game of four, my boy. That makes it second and six. From the 21 yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. And he can't get away from the pressure. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Here's the halfback on the screen. There's a very impressive open field tackle. He gets it up, and it's good. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's pushed out of bounds at the 12. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. Taken down around the 11 yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From the 11 yard line, second down. run and he's brought down here's the handoff and he's taken down for a loss so now it will all fall upon the kicker as they need these points to stay in the game Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two.
Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. On the ground, left side. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a good game. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. The kick is up. And he's got it. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. Tailback brought down for a loss. to the running back and he pulls in another one and he's tackled at the 21 yard line so the kicker comes on and tries to send this to another overtime kicks up and the field goal is good and it's great having a kicker you can rely on in the clutch now they live to play another overtime and if you haven't had enough yet, we're going to a third overtime. Extra points are no longer allowed. And if anyone scores a touchdown, they'll have to go for two. Setting up blockers, a running back's got it on the screen. Brought down inside the five. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown. So the offense comes up big and gets six points here in triple overtime. And unless they want to leave this in the hands of their defense, they better come up big here again because they have to go for the two-point conversion. They don't get it. From the 25-yard line, first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. That makes it first and goal. They come out on an empty backfield. Yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. You leave your defenders vulnerable when it's man coverage. And that time he paid for being a step behind the receiver. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the one yard line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That makes it third and goal.
Defense stacked in tight here. Up the middle for a nice game. This is their last chance. They need a touchdown. And he is drilled at the eight-yard line. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 22-16. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.